find the slope of the line which passes through the two given points. All right, so in this problem, we have been given two sets of ordered pairs, and we're supposed to figure out what the slope of the line is. Now, uh, you might be familiar with the formula slope, which we use m to denote, is equal to rise over run. So the rise would be the difference in the y values. So we usually say y2 minus y1 divided by the difference between the x values, x2 minus x1. And you can plug in the values here. You could, you could say that this here is x1 and y1. Just let that be your first point. And then let the second point be here. So you have an x2 and a y2. And then you can go in and replace the values. So we can replace the y2 with 3. We can replace the y1, or maybe the better order to do this in is with my color that I already have selected. So let's also put in the x2, which is 10. And then we can replace the coordinates of the sec first point, which I have coded in pink. So we can put in for the y, negative 5. And notice that I've been careful to put in parentheses so that the negative on my 5 doesn't co get confused with the negative that's already part of the formula. And so that will become a positive 5. And then we can replace x1 with 10. And notice that when we simplify this, we're going to get 3 plus 5 in the top, which is 8, and 10 minus 10 in the bottom, which is 0. Now, when you try to divide anything by 0, it doesn't work. It's like if you had 8 jelly beans and nobody around to eat them. You couldn't divide them up equally or at all. So what we say about 8 divided by 0 is that it does not exist. So for short, D, N, E. Or we might say it's undefined. Now let's look at what that looks like on a graph. If we plot the two points, 10 comma negative 5, that's right here. So we've gone to 10 on the x-axis and then drop down 5 units. So that's one point. And then another point, the other point, 10 comma 3. So we've gone to 10 on the x-axis and then up 3 units to 3. And you draw a line through this, you can see that it's straight up and down. So if you imagine trying to walk on this line, you wouldn't be able to, right? You wouldn't be able to move to the right or to the left if you were actually walking on that line. So there's not only is there no slope, meaning usually I think of no slope being a horizontal line where you would just walk evenly. This is vertical so that you can't walk on it at all. So there's no slope to speak of or it just doesn't exist. It's undefined.